Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of great recipes to share with you. I'm making a Goin green curry today. It's a little exotic. It's a delicious braise of herbs, spices, and coconut. And I'm going to be featuring the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon from Vital Choice. I'm blending here some coconut. I'm using fresh, and frozen is great, along with a serrano chili. I want it kind of medium spicy. You can add a second one if you like, but I like it this way. Um, I'm adding here some garlic cloves, a little coriander, just a pinch of cayenne, and a big fat handful of cilantro. And I'm also going to add a little water because I want to turn this into a paste. And now I'm going to give it a good whirl in the food processor. Scrape down the sides, maybe once. A little more water if necessary. We want it a little wet. Perfect. I'm heating some coconut oil in my skillet over medium-high heat. And as soon as it melts here, I'm going to be adding my mustard seeds. And then I'm going to cover the pot and wait until they start to pop. About 30 seconds, and now they're ready, and I'm adding the curry leaves. Now, these are available at Indian markets, and they add great flavor, but you could still make this dish without them. I'm also adding these onions. I'm turning down my heat a little bit, and I'm going to cook this about three minutes. I'm adding now the spice mix that we made, the herb mix with coconut, and I'm going to be stirring this for about five minutes until it's dried out. So we're getting this kind of dry masala. This masala is looking good, so I'm ready to move on by adding one can of coconut milk and some water. And I'm going to let this mix come up to a boil. Stir it all in. I'm going to add a little salt. Turn down the heat, cover it, and let it simmer for about 15 minutes to marry the flavors. I'm adding here a little bit of tamarind concentrate. That is going to give it just a, a nice bit of a fruity tang. And I'm going to let this cook in just a couple of minutes to marry flavors. I'm adding the sockeye salmon now. I could add as many as four pieces. I'm adding three today. And I'm going to cook this covered for five minutes. The salmon was perfectly ready after five minutes. So I'm plating it on a bed of basmati rice. And I'm adding a ladle full of sauce around the sides. You can add as much as you like. And I'm also adding some steamed carrots that I have here. It's a nice accompaniment. And a sprinkling of cilantro on top. 